Welcome back to Houston Life. Learning what to do in case someone is choking is critical. And since today is National Heimlich Maneuver Day, we decided it was time for a refresher on this life-saving technique. Here to show us the right way to do these abdominal thrusts is Rhoda Strong, instructor of CPR and first aid. Rhoda, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. And I think for a lot of people, this is a little intimidating. If you've never gone through a CPR class or anything like that, but God forbid you're in a situation where you can't do something to help. And you say this is very easy to learn. It is. Okay. The Heimlich Maneuver will help you um, expel an obstruction. This is the number one cause of children's dying, respiratory failure. Wow. So the first thing we're gonna do is you find the belly button. Okay. So on our uh, mannequin here, mm -hmm. that would be this white That's spot, correct. right? So find we wanna belly hold button. up our- You're gonna use your thumb. The air pocket is a thumb length from the navel. So make a fist right there. So you. measuring a thumb's length yes, from thumb's the, above length. the belly button, mm -hmm. okay. Make a fist. You're gonna push with this hand. Don't push with the fist. P don't slap. Push hard and fast. Oh, oh. good job. Did it. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna learn how to do it on yourself. If you look in the back of your pockets, you'll see some more little peanuts. Okay. okay. Put your peanut in. And this is something, yeah. Rhoda, that people, if, if you're actually performing the Heimlich maneuver on a human, what would you feel? Because it you're is, gonna feel is a common thing. mistake that people are too gentle with it? Yes, and that's why we use this device, because then you can see how hard it is to do it. You've got to use a lot of force, a lot right? Of force, yes. But Heimlich maneuver often breaks ribs. So you only want to do the Heimlich maneuver if they're truly choking. If they're truly choking, their hands will be like this. They won't be able to talk, cough, or cry. If they have something enlarged in their throat and they are coughing, talking, or crying, you're going to do the back slap. Would you come, put your hand in the front, and hit them right in the back of the shoulder blades. Well, that's very and interesting. That way you don't take the chance of breaking their ribs. Right and cause them more damage. When so it's that's good related. news if they're ca crying, coughing, um, and breathing, obviously, yes. but that's good news that it's not, an, it's not uh, restricting the airway. That it has a little bit of air coming in, so you do need to help them, but you don't need to do the Heimlich. Oh, fascinating. Now, if you're choking yourself, okay. there are many times no one knows what to do. Uh -oh. You can take your, you put your peanuts in? I did, Okay. Yes. And you're gonna use this table, I okay. Hope you can, you're kind of tall. And um, put your air pocket right on the edge and push. So that's right the down. same area where same we were, area. right? Mm -hmm. So this could be done like on the back of a chair. It could be yes. done on the edge of a table yes. or a countertop, yes. right? And because you're tall, you may want something higher than you that. Bring in this. And just push. Yeah. Push. Thank you. Push harder. You're choking. Get this it out. Is <laughs> oh, <laughs> mine just flew out. I think I just, <laughs> I'm in the wrong area. You're right there. No. Do you have a peanut in there? I, I think do. Your peanut already came out. <laughs> My guy is dead. It's in there. You can Here, do it. Maybe CZ. this is it. Okay, same area. I'm still too I short. I think your peanut is right there. And Rhoda, <laughs> so this would just be just a hard edge, right? You don't want to do it like on the corner of a countertop. No. Just truly the back of a, like yes. a chair or? Yes, a flat edge. Yes. You want to try <sighs> to put you another peanut on? I know. He's in there. Maybe it's just too oh. tight. No, it's in this. Look, is that not where it's supposed? No. <laughs> oh, I put it in his mouth. <laughs> well. It's supposed to be down yeah. here. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't load the choking mechanism earlier. <laughs> While you're working on that, Courtney, what, what about, there you go. What about Thank infants, you. you know, small children? The method is a little bit different for them, yes. correct? Now, with the infants, you're going to use an infant choking exercise. It's completely different, um, it's, but you still use the back slap if an infant is not, is coughing, talking, or crying. But you'll use a different one where you hit the back, five back blows, flip them over and then you're going to compress their sternum. You can't compress in the same little soft pocket because the infant's liver and kidneys are there. So you're going to use the sternum. The sternum is this hard part right between the two nipples. So you'll push with two fingers, five chest compressions, five back blows with the infant instead. Now if the person passes out then, because that's, sometimes that's the first time you notice someone is choking, it's mm -hmm. a silent death. Then you don't do the Heimlich maneuver. You're gonna do CPR. 
Uh, you do Heimlich maneuver on a conscious victim, but once they pass out, you're gonna do CPR. Each time you do a compression, it is a swoosh of air that comes up, and it'll pop that object out in about three or four compressions. And we're seeing some video right now, Rhoda, of the CPR. This is another yeah. case where people need to not be shy, don't hold back, keep those elbows straight, right, and That's go down correct. with a lot of force. That's correct, exactly. And it doesn't take long to learn this. And uh, this is your soapbox. This is something right. that can really help anyone or yourself as long as you have the knowledge. That's exactly right. And the repercussions of not knowing are very high. So it's good for everyone to take a CPR class. I yeah. do think so, because even in that panic situation, if you don't know what to do, uh, you panic even more. That's exactly right. Yeah, the time well, this to was learn an easy now. class to take, for sure. For a link to connect with Rhoda, visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Yeah, Rhoda, thank you so much. Appreciate thank you. Life saving. Okay, still to come on Houston Life, the summer temps mean more time spent outdoors. Whether you are traveling or out by the pool, we are sharing tips to keep the entire family safe.